Hi there, Allie, back to you today on a little, sm another small project. I went to um, Joanne's to go get some um, white acrylic paint and then just to kind of look around. I noticed that some of the stores in our area are starting to have like diamond painting um, kits. Um, very small selection. But at Joann's, they had, they did have some bigger ones, but they also had these little ones, which I will turn the camera around and show you more, but just kind of, I thought it would be kind of cute to do something small. What I like is that it wasn't very expensive. I, at the moment, don't have the price, but I will put it in the description and I'll put, you know, all the information. It comes with everything, you know, besides the, um, the little tiny canvas and the um, the gems, the round gems. Um, it also comes with its own little frame. So it's basically a kit you put together. Very little. It's um, like a partial paint. I guess that's what they're called. These. This will be my very first partial paint. Very tiny. But I kind of like working on the small projects as a as you may know if you're following my channel. Okay, back to this. This is from the company Diamond Dots. I This is my first time with Diamond Dots. I This is the first time ever doing a partial, I guess is what, because it's got, you know, it's not the full colored, it's not for the beads, it's just, partial of it. Um, so let me turn this around and let's get started with this and I'll finish unboxing it. See you in a bit. And let's see. This little box includes, it's called Patchwork Heart is the name of the project. It says that it includes frame. It's for a beginner. It's very little. It is like 7.6 by 7.6. So it's basically like a 3 by 3. Yeah, that's what it says right there. I should have just read that to begin with. Oh, you got to... Don't mind the background. My son is playing his game. Fortnite. Okay, let's see. The kit includes... The canvas. Yep. Patchwork heart. It's got four colors. Pretty clear. I like, I like, let's get closer. I like when the canvas is nice, either colors or symbols, whatever the project is, but that it's nice and clear and you could see the letter more detail. Okay. We need a little frame. Is it glass? What is it? No. So it's open. So I will seal it. Don't worry about that later. Let's get started. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. The weather was just gorgeous here in California in our part of northern. I thought we were going to get some rain, but I thought I heard that it was going to get some rain, but it didn't look like it. It was just beautiful today. Let's see. Four colors. Let's put the scissors away. Let's get my stuff. Where do we go? And I typically have been using something like this, like the one they send. And I just put, you know, this little thingy on there. And it's been the one that I've been using from the very beginning. I've gotten all kinds of other ones. And then I got this fancy one that came a while back with my 
not this last project, but with the, I believe it was when I did the firefighter one. And um, I thought, wow, there's no way I could ever use that. Well, I decided to try it out with when I did the stickers. And boy, I feel silly because it was super easy. Yeah. It's just like when you try foods, you're younger. You're like, no way, that's going to taste nasty. And your parents make you... um eat some of it and you end up liking it but you don't want to say nothing I've been using a, a different one and one that came with the last kit and I didn't think I was going to use it but I decided to try it just once and then I remembered I had this really pretty pink one but the other one I, I, I loved and it's the same exact thing you know, with the wax at the end and the little beads. And I just, <laughs> kind of putting this on wasn't the easiest because it's a little bit thicker than the other ones where I took it off of. Okay. I always have trouble with this. Filming so that you could see. Oh yeah, see I really like using this and it's kind of silly how I didn't try it before. Or I guess I tried it and I just just tried it once and it just maybe I didn't have enough waxy on there so it didn't. And it's pretty sturdy. So now I know why um, people I've seen like on Facebook where they have Oops, where they order these really pretty special um, pens. I just don't see why there's, why you would need so many of them. Oh, I guess with your, if you're going to travel and you take a few, you know, you take a project with you, yes, of course, you would want to take more than one because what if you misplaced it? Dropped it somewhere or something. <laughs> and then you're stuck. So my next project, my next bigger project, is finally on its way. And it is going to be a sports one for my 11 year old well, came back had to grab some cold water and went ahead and uh, put some stuff away in the refrigerator okay so i went ahead and finished the yellow the yellow has i don't know if you could really see it in the video besides the shine you know the pretty gloss it has like an opalescent little sparkle to it. I don't know, maybe you can see it a little bit. You know, with the opalescent, I believe that is the correct word. Where it has like the color, the glare of blues and purples and greens. You know, it just depends. There's some that are rear more towards the pinks and some rear towards the blues and whatever, you know. But this one, here, maybe, let's see. There you go. Well, maybe if I keep my hand on there so that you could see the, see how this one has more of the opalescent shine to it. Compared to the other ones. The other ones are just, you know, the normal little pretty glisten sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to, got the yellow and the pink or the very light pink. I'm going to work on what is the number three here in the symbol, which is the little X. 8063 is the DD number. But I'm going to go ahead and put it sideways so that way I'm not touching the stickiness of that area.
You can hear the wind it's picking up. You can hear it from the trees. I don't have very many trees in my area or my backyard. But the neighbors and well, in the nighttime when it's just quiet compared to during the day, you could hear it a lot more. So thinking about going to see the new, mm, I can never say this, so let me try. The new movie of where she's like a, the, like, what is the fairy tale? Maleficent. I think that's how you say it. Maleficent. There we go. I'm just going to run here. I think I need to use a, <laughs> a rolling pen for this little tiny. Just turn it around. Just using the uh, my stylus. Just to double check. There you go. The finished product. I I stopped at Pops a few times. Or from the beginning of when I started once. But um, it's probably maybe, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. Not even that long, I don't think. Okay, now let's now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this. This is what I do. This is just a tiny small project so I don't really need a if it's the bigger one I drizzle all just area at a time area at a time because they're bigger and sometimes I just pour like a big puddle in my little dish and then I use an I use my finger I don't use an applicator because I noticed that it was just making a bigger of a mess. Just working as well. When I use my finger, I can put it in the little crevices, especially if it's rounder. But even in the squares, oh, maybe too much. This is really small. I just go slowly. Sure of the. Um, goes everywhere. I'm using it kind of like a sealer at this point. And I would rather not put enough, I mean, you know, not over, because then it's you got too much. I was just, because you can always add. And it dries clear. This specific one does. I might need to just put a tiny dot there. Nope. And just smooth it and I go slow. I put pressure, but I don't. Because you don't want to separate them. They'll loosen up down there and then they'll move. There you go. And I just leave them. At least 24 hours, you know, it's nighttime, so I'll just, it'll dry tomorrow. I will, um, after I get back from the movies, after lunchtime, I will, um, finish it off, because by then it'll be done, and I can, um, put it in the frame. Okay, good morning. I'm back, and here is the finished product again. Um, I put the Mod Podge over it, just a little layer. Didn't need more than that. And you see, it, it dries clear. And actually, I think it even maybe adds a little bit of shine. Or it keeps the shine, for sure. You don't lose it. You can still see the opalescent on the yellow, which is cool. It gives it an extra spark sparkle on that area. It brings out the pizzazz. 
is what I say in this little project. It's called Patchwork Heart. Okay, so let's get this spring. I have not done this little project before, this packet before. So we're going to do this together. <clears throat> what I was doing was, this is the frame that it came with. It's just a hard plastic, very shiny, pretty. And it's got the backing where I wasn't sure at first what that was going to, I was messing with it just now. And I thought, hmm, well, I hadn't seen, I thought it doesn't reach to up here, but, but that doesn't make sense. Well, then I looked on the sides, inside, and you see the little grooves and one doesn't have it. Well, <clears throat> so I kind of figured out that you put it together. Oops. Okay, hold on a second. There we go. When, when you put the canvas in there, it's got little arrows there that tell you which way to go. And I just been, I just pushed it in just to get it inside the, there. The one side has it's smoother, you know, the opening. And I just slid it in. And it stayed. Well, when you do all three, of course, it's going to stay in. Okay. <clears throat> so I was thinking, I don't really want to cut it. So I was just scoring it a little bit. We'll see. Doesn't mean we don't want it to be too um, bulky either. Got one last one left. What I was just scoring it, folding it on the little tiny edge of the, the line, the border. And then just using my nail, <clears throat> make sure it's just to kind of help it guide it. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I decided I went to bed. Boy, I was extremely tired yesterday, last night. I woke up this morning with the idea of who this is going to go for. Maybe this is better if I put it in here first. Bear with me. No little plastic came with it or anything because that would have been hmm okay I do not want to cut it it's what I'm trying to prevent but I think I might have to because I don't want to put it in like this and have all that extra on there out there <clears throat> Maybe if I put a little dab of glue inside there. Okay, let me put you on pause for a second. Let me grab the scissor or the glue and let's see. Let me see if I can come up with this to make sure this is going to work. I don't want it to be bulky, but I also don't want it to be just, um, you know, I want it to look good because you know, it's the inside, the measurement. It's just, just right. So let's get this going. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I um, grabbed the glue. This is what I use for a majority of everything. A leans, just a tacky glue or a glue gun. Um, it just depends on what it is. I did not, which would have been easier and faster to put a few dots of hot, hot glue but I'm not really sure how the heat, how it will affect the canvas. I haven't tried it yet. So I just put just a little bit, like in all the little areas, you know, the corners. Not really a whole bunch, just to kind of, and I've been, maybe I should probably put something heavy on this and let it sit, but I think Maybe just the moisture 
just kind of helped it get a little bit um, to stay. Okay, so let's make sure we put this with the grooves on the three sides. Make sure I put that right. I don't know how many times I put something on a frame and didn't realize I had it backwards. Okay, see? Now, this also has like this little groove right there. I noticed that's don't really know if it's no I guess it's for nothing oops I was also thinking that I know I can't think at the moment if I have any let's make sure we put that in there see all three sides have this little opening you just got to push it down a little bit to get it in there and it just slides pretty very in I've been putting pictures on picture new picture frames you know my grandbabies and boy with my neuropathy in my hands this would be so much easier if all the frames had something like this you just push a little bit voila okay i like that the white it really stands out the colors especially that yellow i think maybe that was the idea of having just the yellow um, with the pearly opalescent. So it, it kind of adds a little bit, like I said, pizzazz. I'm wondering if putting a little piece of like a hard clear plastic on top, you know, instead of just having this out in the open like that. No, I'm going to contemplate. I'm not going to um, send it to the school for the gift yet. I'm going to maybe bake some cookies or something to add along with it and then get a nice little card so that JC can write on it and also me, you know, tell her appreciation. This is going to be for the teacher that has been substituting in turn for his actual teacher that went on emergency maternity leave. But she had her baby all is well and she's coming back next month, so... I thought this would be a nice little gesture. I had thought already of getting a card and maybe baking some cookies. But then when I went to bed last night, um, I had with the thoughts of like, well, you know, this is going to just be put in my little bin of this little stuff I've been making for little gifts. And then this morning, this was right on my, on my gift or my idea. So that's what it was going to go for. I really like the tiny little hearts. You see them. Hey, inside, there's all kinds of them. Sideways, you know, right way. They're just, it's like they're clouds. So I'm going to end this video. I'm glad that you came along with me on another small project. I like these little small projects. Um, you see the... The beginning and the end really quick and um it's just nice doing taking a little break from uh, a bigger project the, the bigger you know um working what you're working on to do just little little things 